Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh's life in pictures, how a middle-class girl with a normal job became royalty. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Today she is one of the hardest working members of the British royal family, but Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, was not born to be a royal. In fact, her upbringing was quite middle class and she didn't even meet a member of the royal family until she was in her twenties. But a chance second meeting and royal romance earned Sophie a place in the royal family's picture, and she even became one of Queen Elizabeth II's favorite in-laws before the king's death. Keep reading to see how Sophie went from a PR professional with a regular 9-to-5 job, to a member of the royal family. Born on January 20, 1965, Sophie's father was a sales manager and her mother was a charity worker, so she had a very normal upbringing in Kent, England. She and her older brother David grew up in a four-bedroom 17th-century farmhouse, and Sophie was educated first at Dulwich Preparatory School, then at Kent College, and finally at West Kent College, where she trained as a secretary. Pictured here on the day of the Ascot charity race in 1995, Sophie Rees Jones never dreamed she would one day become a member of the British royal family and decided to pursue a completely non royal career after finishing her studies. After leaving college, Sophie turned to PR, working for major companies such as Capital Radio, as well as PR firms such as the Quentin Bell Organization and McClure in Communications and Media. Not only did she take an office job in London, she also explored work opportunities abroad, traveling to Switzerland where she worked as a ski performer, and even spending a year working and traveling in Australia. By 1996, she had established herself in public relations and decided to create her own agency, RDAH Public Affairs, which she ran for five years with a business partner. Sophie might have continued, had it not been for the chance encounter with her Prince Charming. In 1987, Sophie caught the attention of Prince Edward, the youngest son of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, for the first time. At the time she was working at Capital Radio and he was dating one of her friends, so nothing happened. That is, until the couple met again in 1993. At the time, Sophie was working on a promotional photoshoot for a summer challenge charity fundraiser, and Edward was single. Sparks flew. Soon after they became an item, but Edward worked hard to maintain his new romance at first. Edward knew that Sophie would be caught up in a media circus the moment their romance was announced, especially if the press knew how serious he was about her. In December 1993, he wrote to British newspaper editors denying rumors that he was planning to marry Sophie, an unheard of move for a senior royal at the time. Edward asked the media to provide privacy for himself and Sophie, who did her best to carry on with life as usual while also dating one of the most famous men in the country. Royal author Ingrid Seward, who wrote Prince Edward, claimed that the couple almost broke up when a year later Edward cooled off their romance, having realized it was a serious relationship that could lead to marriage. Fortunately, they stayed together. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.